specifically for Tricia Collins. Even the red device, which is a halo distractor that kind of clamps on the skull and goes in front of the face, wasn't really designed for this particular condition. So I came up with some extra hardware, one that wraps around the upper jaw that we place without burying it so we don't have to peel any of the soft tissue off of the, the bone. And then another one that goes through the lower lip, down through the chin and comes out here. So really the only external scar that you would see would be right here. And these are designed in a way that it doesn't require any soft tissue dissection. So jaw distraction has kind of revolutionized craniofacial surgery. It's the cutting of the bone and then stretching of the bone that lets you grow new bone. But the more you open things up and do it like a conventional jaw surgery, the less likely the bone is going to grow normally thereafter. So I've spent many years basically trying to figure out how to do these surgeries through little incisions, you know, keyholes, minimally invasive type procedures. And I think I've gotten to the point now where I can do virtually all the big operations endoscopically or blindly through little keyholes. And I think that that creates the opportunity to grow so much more bone and just get such improvement in stability and long-term results and easier on the kids. I think that you know, my kind of curious nature and kind of natural tendency to want to tinker with stuff has led to some of these little incremental improvements, which I think altogether have added up to a nice big, you know, kind of change in the way I take care of this very complex and difficult, you know, set of patients.